Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. In today's demo, we're going to take a look at DivBot. DivBot is solving one of the most fundamental problems there is in computation today. And that's the problem of search. Being able to index the world of data and make that searchable in a relational format. That's a challenge that a few companies uh, they go after. And the ones who've done that are some of the most valuable companies there is out there. We're talking about Google with the search engine. We're talking about YouTube with the search engine. We're talking about Amazon with the search engine searching for products. But for the average user like you and me, if we come into Google, it's meant for a user type experience. It's not meant for analytics. You can't really use Google as your data source for analytics. Sure, coming into Google and searching for data analytics companies, as an example, it's great. Uh, Google will give me uh, a list of web pages to go after. If I click down this list of uh, web pages, uh, you might see some companies. But this is not very useful if I was going to bring this into a database and do analytics on top. So. You have to go in and find libraries, beautiful soup, and there are many libraries out there to do scraping and making that data available within your database so to do your analytics. This is where DeepBot comes into play. They've built that technology to go out to scrape the web, structure the data, and make it searchable, not as what Google presents to you in pages that are not very useful, but presented to you in a structural way that can easily block into your database or application. Let's jump right in to see what the tool does. There is a dashboard. Uh, you can extract some information, the knowledge graph, and this is the key to what they're, they're building. What they've done fundamentally is scrape the entire web. I think that's what they're trying to do. I don't know if you can scrape the entire web practically, but they've scraped as much as possible. They've categorized things into uh, five key entity organizations, articles, persons, products, and others. Others is just a bucket for everything. If you're searching around in the web page for organizations or looking for a particular person and they'll figure out how to get that to you. Let's jump right in to see how you could take advantage of, of I'm going to give an example, which is very relevant to a uh, demo hub and demo hub. We look for companies in the modern data space, uh, do demos around them. We orient what those companies are. And sometimes I do get the question of through, how do you figure out which companies in this space to uh, highlight or to make demos are about? And I'll show a way, this is not the, the practical way I use to track these companies, but I'll show a way uh, that this could be relevant in this context. You can come in, click on organizations, say I'm searching for organizations within a particular location or organizations within a particular industry. Let's select industry. Now, what industry do we want? There are tons of industries here, national parks, flooring contractors. Imagine you are starting a new business and you want to market to painting contractors, right? You can just come in here and, and search for those. And that information will be right at your fingertip for you to use in your database. Let's come in, scroll down this quite a bit. I wish they had a search. <laughs> option to help with the scrolling. So there is computer, there's cloud computing, there is data analytics companies. So that's what I'm uh, interested in. I can select that and you can add as many predicates as you want. If you had more conditions you wanted to, you can add those. If I'm uh, happy with that, I can go ahead and search. So this search experience is a thousand times different than this search experience. So here we have data analytics companies and Google is giving us a list of web pages, you cannot put this to a database. This is not useful if I'm trying to do analytics. So put this bluntly. Let's come back here for our search completed. This is the query. You can write this query. You can see the company name. Uh, there is a logo tool, which is fascinating. I, I remember at one point many years back, working on a project where I needed logos for companies and it was impossible to get it. You can have all of that here in a structured format. The beauty about this tool is you can share this, you can get this into a, a CSV if you wanted to. You can have an API endpoint directly on top of this. This is the CSV. You can add as many attributes as you want. If you want image for some reason, there's a URL to the image. If you're happy with, this can now be exported into a CSV and you can import this into your database to use for analytics. A machines analysts, 
work with structured data. The world talks a lot about the rise of unstructured data and doing structured data analysis, but the ground truth of it is humans don't consume unstructured data, except you're watching videos or listening to music. As far as analytics is concerned, humans do consume structured data. So whatever unstructured data you get, you have to somehow take it to a structured form, rows and columns. This is it. Rows and columns is what people tend to understand. If your data is not in this format, you might have articles, you may have videos, you may have PDFs, documents, whatever it is, somehow get it into this format. Ultimately, this is what uh, humans can understand. Very fascinating for folks that might be trying to build startups and you need data to get up the ground and going. Uh, this is something that could be an option to use. There is an API endpoint now hit this endpoint, you get this data in a JSON format and you can populate your database very quickly and very uh, easily. Pretty fascinating. Let's, let's jump in into the pricing. It's not free, of course. To some people, this could be considered uh, not a hobbyist type of tool. I'm demoing with free version, uh, just a trial version for a couple of days uh, to go through. Let's say you're a startup, uh, 29, uh, close to 300 a month, US dollars about 900 a month for some more features and then enterprises is custom. This is a interesting approach because again, this tool doesn't seem to be for hobbies. So you're not going to wake up in the morning and put in your, your credit card for $15 and hope to get this data, right? So we're talking about shilling some good uh, change here. I, I'm not sure about the business model that this, this company is using, but what this does is it segments the people that are serious and the ones that are just experimenting. But having the free trial option, I think kind of helps. That's why we can do the demo because of the options available. So pricing is definitely up there. Now, I'm not sure of their terms of service because some smart person might say, this is interesting. I'm just going to come in here, scrape a particular data set, monetize it, and then just sell it. Is that an option? Say you wanted to uh, scrape the data set for all CRM uh, software companies, you, you script this data, put it in a database, put an API on top, and then go sell, sell that in an API marketplace, right? I could see how somebody would think along that line. But again, I'm not sure what the fine lines or the legal lease around this uh, company is, is all about. So, but that said, hopefully this gives you an idea. It's always fascinating looking at this modern data tools, uh, solving challenging problems. Uh, search is a challenging problem, especially when you're trying to search the entire world, it just goes to my mind. Why hasn't Google done this? Why hasn't Google given an option where you can search for data companies? I know they have the knowledge graph they worked on, but why can't you search for companies and you can select to say, I want this in rows and columns, as opposed to giving me web pages or videos or links to articles that you still have to go in and, and try to scrape. Right. Cause now you're going to come in here and be trying to scrape all of this data and people struggle with this. It's just impractical scraping data. So having a, an approach like this is fascinating. There you have it. Another tool being highlighted here in the modern data space. This is not a new company. They've been around for a while. Given that this is not just a startup that just came up today, go in into the company history. They've been doing this for, for a while. It's not a big team. It's a team of probably less than 40, I would say, or 20 at the max doing not just building the knowledge graph they're working on, but state of the art uh, research. This is how they compare with, of course, take it with a grain of salt, but this is how they compare with uh, Bing and Google and IBM. Or for me, again, this exploration scratches my own itch because I tend to want to search for companies, a very specific data set, your good old run of the mill Google search will not help trying to write your own web scraper. Many people do it every single day, but it, it sometimes it's just not practical for you to do that. So this is an option. Links to all of this will be in the description below. Check it out. DiffBot, they are building um, knowledge as a service, as it says. Uh, this has been through with Demo Hub. Hopefully you found this valuable. Share this with somebody that might get value out of it. I'll see you in the next demo.